Dependable, reliable, responsible. I don't look back at all. I'm only looking forward now to the, to the things I still want to achieve. Phil Neville has come of age. I've had some wonderful times, but I'm hoping that there's some more wonderful times to come. Now he's inspirational. It, it's the lows that have made me even stronger and better. He's all that's good at Goodison. I became a better person and a better player. Once a red also ran, now a true blue. Under Sir Alex he grew, but under the watchful eye of another Scot, he's blossomed. The first thing that struck me about David Moyes when I first met him was unbelievable determination to succeed and to, and to be the best. And, uh, you know, he has been up there with Alex Ferguson in terms of his consistency of getting the best out of his teams over the last six or seven years at Everton, season after season. And he's inspirational in terms of his work ethic, first in, last to leave. Moyes and Neville share that work ethic, but when Neville joined Everton, the fans still needed convincing. Neville sliding in, Cristiano Ronaldo fouled and then caught a second time by Phil Neville. United's players didn't like that, it's a flashpoint in the game. Deep down, I'm, I'm probably thinking that that was the moment that, that the real hardcore Evertonian fans that still weren't, wasn't so sure where, you know, where my loyalties lie. Rio Ferdinand has run half the length of the field to remonstrate with his former teammate. I think from, from then on, the Everton, the Everton fans, have, they've always been good to me, but I think it just sealed the deal, really. It's been one of the most enjoyable three years of my career yeah, since I was made captain. It's opened up another avenue that I didn't think uh, I had in myself. I've uh, really enjoyed the responsibility, working closely with the manager. And, uh, you know, leading a team out, leading any team out is an honour. When you see youngsters from the Everton Academy making their debuts, you think, I've been there, done that? Yeah, I do, and I think what a wonderful opportunity. I don't think they realise what an opportunity they've got. I think. Uh, I'm a, I'm, a little, I'm a little bit old-fashioned in, 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 in my views and I, I, I still think nowadays that, you know, kids nowadays get it easier than what we used to do. You're turning into a grumpy old man. Yeah, that's what, that's what people say. The, uh, <laughs> the other day the, the youth team were in the gym and uh, they, they left all the balls and bibs around and uh, I made them come back in and pick it up and, and they were just calling me the grouch and everything. I was getting slaughtered off everybody at the club but that's, that's just the way that I was brought up. It didn't do me or my generation any, uh, any harm so I don't see why they shouldn't do it now. For me, family is the be-all and end-all, and uh, you know it always has been. It's the, it's the way I was brought up. It's, it's the way that my family is now. You've got a daughter who has been diagnosed with an illness, um, and as that gives you a different perspective, perhaps. It does, yeah, it does. And uh, but the one thing you know, when we found out about uh, my little girl having cerebral palsy, was that you know we're not going to wallow in self-pity and, and feel sorry for ourselves. You, you know, we, we, we see her as a gift from God and, and we're in a position where we can give her everything that's needed for her to improve her quality of life. You know, we, we feel lucky and blessed that we, we, we've got a child that's so happy even though she has got a disability. Such precious family matters certainly help put football concerns into perspective. With regular top six finishers and an FA Cup final under his belt, Neville's Everton career has thrived till now, but currently down in 12th place, They've been toiling so far this term. There are valid reasons why we've not performed as well. That the injury situation has been well documented. But we seem to be recovering from that now, and uh, we're getting some players back. You know, look at the fixtures after February. Uh, we look like we've got a really good running towards the end of the season. And the first step of that second half is away to Arsenal. What sort of fixture is that for you? Well, it, it's it's always been one of my favourite fixtures. Arsenal away, Arsenal at home. They're always great games because Ever Everton always attack, Arsenal always attack. And the Emirates is a great stadium to go and play your football. And uh, you know, I've I've been out the game for three months with with an injury this season. So games like this were the, were the ones that I was missing, and it's great to be back in such a big game. That was uh, Phil Neville being very open and honest with Football Focus this week. And when uh, Neville and his Everton team arrive, they'll go in the away team dressing room, of course. Just around the corner from this, the home team one. This is the uh, the warm-up area where the players will be doing their flicks and tricks.